Hello! I'm Eloise and this is my channel. It has been such a long time since my intro has had me in a full face of makeup. Usually I am looking rat assed and tired, but today I made an effort and this is basically the makeup look that I'm going to be doing today. We are talking all things cool tone. I know a lot of people are scared or don't like cool tones like I definitely used to be and I think the majority of the population who are into makeup are into warm tones. So let's take it back to cool tones. It used to be all about blacks, greys and silvers and that's what I've done today. I would never touch a grey, I would never touch a silver, just thought it looked hideous on me, but I'm really feeling this look. But while I've got you here, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. And if you're interested in seeing how to get this cool tone look, then make sure you keep on watching. Instagram eyebrow, who are you? I haven't carved my eyebrow out in, I don't know how long. But anyway, so let's get cracking. So I've already done this eye off camera, so that's a little sneak peek of what we're doing today. Yeah, I just fancy doing a little bit of a cool tone moment with the greys, the blacks, and the silvers, and I think it looks really cute. So, these are the two palettes that I'm going to be using today. Oldies, but goodies. So you've got the two Naked Basic palettes, so you've got Naked 1 and Naked 2. I'm going to be using pretty much this color, this colour and then the black in the Naked One. Yeah, and then I'm going to use also the Urban Decay Heavy Metal palette, which was Christmas palette from two years ago, last Christmas, not the one just gone, the one before that. Um, so if you've got that, that's what I'm using today. But if you've just got silver eyeshadow, that will do. And I'm also going to be using, which is gorgeous, um, this Top Shop glitter eyeshadow in the shade Trip, which is basically a sparkly black. So those are the products that I'm going to be using today. So I have primed my eyes using my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in the shade Enigma. Surprise, surprise. What's new there? And I just fancy doing a bit of glam today, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to be taking Undone from the Naked Basics 2 palette by Urban Decay and taking a Zareva 227. What I'm going to start doing is stamping that in the outer corner. And I haven't done this technique in such a long time I feel like I haven't even done eyeshadow like this in such a long time so it's quite nice to actually get a little bit creative today so this is a great makeup for going out or prom seasons coming up so you could do it for that but I feel like people are scared of cool tones so I thought I would do that today and show you how to make it look super glam and super gorgeous and I'm going to look straight forward and make sure that I can still see the colour when my eyes are open. And you can see how bloody pigmented these eyeshadows are. If anyone ever says to you, um, okay, eyeshadows are not pigmented or they're hard to work with, you clearly ain't doing it right, girl. One of my favourite eyeshadow formulas are so good. So now I'm just softly going around the edge when I've hardly got anything left on my brush. So it's not super blended but there aren't any harsh lines. Now I'm going in with my Zoeva 221 which has got a much rounder end compared to the 227 which is much flatter and I'm going to take a mixture of Frisk and Primal so those are my transition colours that are going to help blend Undone out. I'm being really really soft around the edges. I'm hardly putting any pressure on the brush at all I'm just fluffing those edges out and my brush is half on the color half off the color Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit more definition with undone that one there back in with the 227 and I'm just re-establishing That color I'm just making sure everything's nice and seamless. I'm just going back back and forth with previous brushes just to really help blend and get the shape that I want. Comment down below if you are either scared of cool tones or feel like they don't suit you. And let me know if this video has helped you. I feel like I really struggle sometimes with pairing a cool tone eye with a lip. I think we're gonna have to try out a couple of options to see what's gonna work best. I'm happy with that blend so far. So now on to Naked Basics 1. We're gonna take Cray, which is the black. If you've ever tried an Urban Decay Black eyeshadow, Crave, um, Blackjack in the Ultimate Basics palette and Blackout in the Naked 2 palette, phenomenal. These are one of the best black eyeshadows I think I've ever used. And I'm using one of my Japonesque brushes that I got from TK Maxx in 
725, the brush is called, and it's just this tiny little blender, so it's great for black eyeshadow, because you don't want that to be dispersed too much, you want to keep it where you place it basically. And I'm just intensifying this outer corner, but because that grey was quite dark, you're probably not going to see much of the black, it's just to deepen it ever so slightly. I feel like I want to wing this out a little bit more, bring it up ever so slightly higher just to make the shape of my eye look slightly different. The shape of my eyes really irritate me at the moment. They sort of droop down at the end here and peek up through the top. So I feel like I have to bring the eyeshadow slightly higher to make it look less drooped. I'm happy with that so far. I'm going to um, focus on the lid now and then we can always tweak it later on. So what I'm going to use is a product that I've had for absolutely ages and I really, really do like them. So it's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade 603. It says pots and pans casseroles, I don't know if it's called that, but the number is 603, so it's just this silver. And what I'm gonna do is just run that over the eyelid, making sure to get it right up to the lash line. And then I'm just gonna draw in here because I want to be able to see the edge of the line when my eyes are open. So I'm going slightly higher than my crease and I'm just sort of creating a messy half cut crease. So I don't want there to be any harsh edges. I want it to be nice and blended. I'm not really into cut creases anymore. And I think these are so much more flattering for most eye shapes. And I always like to bring the shimmer higher than my crease so that you can see the edge when your eyes open and it gives the illusion that you've got bigger eyes. Okay, so now that that is on nice and roughly, I'm gonna take the MK Heavy Metals palette, which is this big old chunky palette, and I'm gonna take the shade, I'm gonna mix Glam Rock with Acoustic. And I'm just taking, I'm taking a flat brush, but it's a slightly f denser, sort of fluffier flat brush. Um, and I find this gives me a really nice diffused edge rather than a really sharp sort of cut crease edge. So I'm just gonna pop that all over. And where it's got a fluffier end, I can sort of just run that through the crease and fluff the edge. And because I've put a silver tacky base down, this silver is so much more intensified and it goes on much more foiled like. So now I'm gonna pop that away. So now I'm gonna take the Topshop Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Trip, which is this gorgeous sparkly black, I love it. And I'm gonna flip my brush, take some of that eyeshadow and pop that right next to you where the silver meets the black. And then when you pop this over the top of the silver, it sort of turns into a charcoal grey, so gorgeous. And that's just gonna transition the black into the silver and give you an extra sparkly edge. I think I can hear my mum listening to my YouTube videos. <laughs> and I'm gonna flip when I want to blend the silver into the sparkly black. So now I'm gonna go back to Crave from the Naked One Basics and I'm just gonna into that outer corner. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is take my Urban Decay Perversion pen. What a surprise, another Urban Decay product. <laughs> and I'm just gonna line my lashes, like so. I much prefer using a pen liner to a liquid liner or a gel. I find it so much easier. You literally just have this product on its side, boop, 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 and drag it along the lash line, and it's the easiest liner to do, in my opinion. I'm going to whack on some mascara, do my lashes. So the ones that I'm gonna use, I don't know the name of, but they're very similar to the Ardell Wispies. Um, but these are by Kiss Lashes, and I have been loving them. And they're just a really nice length, and they go with dramatic looks, soft looks, I think that's why I like it. But I was in Boots, and I was looking for Ardell Wispies, and they didn't have any. So I had to go for Kiss Lashes, which I'd ne never tried before. And my god, they're so good. I'm obsessed. Um, why do my eyebrows look ginger on camera? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna stick these on. So, I am going to hop off camera, do my complexion, and then I'll come back and we'll do the under eyes and decide whether we want a little bit of glitter. Um, so yeah, I decided to add a bit of glitter um, just on the lower lash line. I am going to be popping um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On pencil in the shade Smoke into my waterline. 
It's a gorgeous like charcoal grey. And then I'm just going to take a little bit just through the lashes halfway. So I'm just stopping there. And then I'm going to take a little pencil brush. So this is a Zoeva 230. I'm just going to smudge that along. So what goes up must come down. So I'm going to take Undone, which is that dark grey, on my 227. I'm just going to buff that slightly lower. And again, I'm only really going halfway and make sure that that's joining up to the top. And then I'm going to take my 221 and the lighter grey shades, just to buff that out a little bit more so it's nice and smoky. Then I'm going to take the black in the Naked Basics 1 palette on my little pencil brush and I'm just going to really intensify right up close into the lashes. And then I'm going to take another MDK product, um, the Heavy Metal Liner in Glam Rock, which is this gorgeous silver. And I'm just going to pop that in the front section of my lower lash line, just to sort of meet the darkness, like that. Pop some mascara on. We're going to go for Miss Baby Roll by L'Oreal. Oh, I love this eye look. Okay, and because my eyebrows look very flat and are upsetting me, I'm just going to pop some Subversion Lash Primer by Urban Decay in my eyebrows. But I think I just want to... I'm not going to go for a real fluffy effect, I just want a bit of texture. I'm going to give a real fluffy front to my brow, but then the rest of the brow I just want to sort of keep them in place and give a bit more texture. While I'm up close and personal, I'm going to do my lippies. Now, what are we going to go for? I'm going to go for something more cool toned. So this is a Huda Beauty, turned Welsh then, Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Muse. It's like this muted... Uh, cool tone pinky sort of shade um, and I'm going to pair it with Urban Decay Liar Lip Pencil which needs a sharpen Oh I do like a Huda Beauty liquid lip I forgot how good they are I'm going to add a touch of I'm Nude by Jeffree Star just because I can't live without this liquid lipstick Okay, let's zoom you out and show you the finished look. Oh, yes, I'm feeling this look. I, I'm going to put it out there. I like a cool tone. If you like a cool tone too, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this look. If you're scared of cool tones, recreate it. I want to see you be pushed out of your comfort zone and be a fan of cool tones too. I, yeah. I'm loving it. This is a super glam, super sexy sort of makeup look that I did today and I'm feeling it. So yeah, if you're feeling this makeup like I am, then make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. I'm Eloise, this is my channel and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.